Well, folks, winter has returned to the mountain, but so have the birds. Hee <laughs> hee! Well, folks, a lot of people have been asking for an update on the greenhouse. I haven't showed it in quite a while. Uh, some of the taping that I've done recently is in the workshop there. But uh, I've been doing a little bit in the greenhouse, getting it ready. And I'll show you what I come up with and what my ideas are. And I think it's going to work out just fine for us. So let's go on inside and I'll show you what I've done. All right. So as you can see, I've got one plant bench there and then another one up there. And my intentions are, I'm going to have a water collection barrel there and another one here. And then a gutter system outside and it's going to catch the water and it's going to funnel into that barrel. And then that overflow valve there will be connected with some PEX piping. It's going to come over into this barrel and then this overflow valve will drain outside. And whether or not I catch that, we'll see. And once I have the water collection set up in here, then I'll have 110 gallons of water in here that I'll be able to use. And by having the tanks inside, it'll allow me to store water much later into the year than I would if the barrels were outside. Okay, these racks right here, I didn't want them solid like plywood. I wanted light to pass through them. And if I'm watering plants, I want water just to go right through them. And I thought about buying some of that, you know, fencing, welded wire uh, kind of thing and putting that on top. But I figure over time that's just going to get all saggy and I don't think I'm going to like the look of it. Plus, I'd have to buy it. So I made this out of all scrap lumber. These are just pieces of framing lumber that I ripped up. Well, they're about three quarters of an inch thick. And that's working out just fine. And actually, you know, I like the look of it. I like the look. All right, so over here, I built the potting bench. Got that there, and that's working out good. Right now, it's a little bit high. It's higher than a normal uh, bench height because the grade in here is going to come up. But I can't get material in here uh, anytime soon because, as you can see, we got a lot of snow and stuff outside. All right, so we get the potting bench there. I got firewood underneath it. Uh, I got a wood stove here. And then I got a, a rack up there as well. Now that shelf there can be used for a number of things. I can put plants up there or store pots and stuff like that. So there's no wasted space. I didn't have it go all the way over here because there's that window there. And that window will may need a solar powered fan in it in the summertime to suck some heat out of here. Now over here in front of this clear panel, there's going to be a permanent planter box. So we'll grow stuff in here full time. And then there'll be a walk space between that and there's going to be another big planter box in the center here. So there'll be a walkway here we can get around, walkway there, walkway here. And this one here might be two separate ones with a walkway between or just one. So I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do in here yet. I'm going to build the first planter box and then maybe one more and kind of feel it out. We don't want to crowd the room. I want to make sure we got plenty of room so we can walk around and take care of everything. But I want to utilize the greenhouse as much as possible. There's also going to be uh, stuff hanging from the rafters up here. There's going to be window boxes um, right in front of those windows, growing greens, beet greens, stuff like that, that we're going to grow in here in containers, hopefully all year round. That's the plan. Now, we would love to grow things throughout the winter. Whether or not we'll be able to achieve that, I don't know. Like I said, I've never had a greenhouse before, and I don't know what to expect from it. I know I'd have to keep the fire burning 24 hours a day, but that's not a problem. It would be, uh, the work that would be involved with keeping the fire going would be worth 
the trade-off that we would get by having some fresh vegetables throughout the winter. <laughs> That's almost unthinkable. So once I get these permanent planter boxes in place and stuff growing in them, I'll keep the fire burning throughout the night just to make sure that the temps don't drop too low in here. But I think it's going to be great. You know, once the sun comes up in the morning, starts heating the structure that way, then I'll just let the fire go out. And Lord knows, I got lots of firewood at my disposal. And the best part about it is we love cutting firewood. So it's win-win all the way around. <laughs> all right, the footage that I just showed you, I filmed that either yesterday or the day before. It was uh, a cloudy day, cold day. I came down an early morning, lit a fire, and within, within an hour and a half, it was up in the 70s in here. And by 10 o'clock, I just let the fire go out. And it stayed really nice in here all day. Well, today is a sunny day, as you can see. Um, I, I lit the fire right at dawn, just kindled the fire, and I let that burn down, and I haven't had a fire since. And I, it's like the tropics in here. I'm actually, I'm, it's hot. I'm going to open the door. But I, I want to show you what it's like in here. <laughs> See, there's no fire in there right now. There's a little bit of smoldery stuff from early morning, okay? So there's nothing going on here. I've got the damper shut all the way down. Look at the temperature at eye level. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right, so that's eye level. And down here at the floor, it's 80. Unbelievable. What an oasis. I absolutely love it. So we started some seeds. Um, some things I know we started too early, but I'll explain that. We're just having fun with it. So I want to show you. All right, so we got some peppers going here, some tomato plants here. Oh, there's a few beans here. Um, in these troughs here, we're going to grow beet greens. These are just, we're going to be clipping the greens once they grow up. Uh, I think this was lettuce, more beet greens. And I think this is lettuce too. Bunch of beans. Uh, I don't usually start those early like this, but I'll explain why I did that. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. And then up there on that shelf there, most of that is tomatoes. We'll go up and take a peek. In the upper level, uh, tomato plants. There's all kinds of tomato plants. There's heirloom varieties. There's all kinds of them. Yeah. Yeah. Look at them all. Look at them all. <laughs> well, folks, I got to tell you, this greenhouse is already here in the early stages of it all. The greenhouse has already exceeded our expectations. I mean, we built it so that we could get a jump on the season, all right? Just those little hoop houses we had on the past gave us a big jump on the season. But we didn't know what to expect because we've never had a greenhouse like this, especially one that we can heat. And once we saw that on a sunny day, even if it was 20 degrees outside, on a sunny day, the temps were getting up to 100 degrees out there. We were like, after three years without a garden, really chomping at the bit to get things planted. So we started planting some stuff. We we're only going to do a few things, let an early jump on some tomatoes, some peppers. Lori wanted to plant a bunch of flowers. And so we were putting those seeds in the ground. And then we were finding some of our older seeds that I don't even know how old they are. Uh, I had a few pumpkin, maybe a half a dozen pumpkin seeds. So I go, what the heck? What the heck, right? We planted those, and already they have gone absolutely nuts. I don't really know what we're going to do with them, but it doesn't matter. And our intentions for the permanent planter boxes out here, we're going to have tomatoes. I want to grow some peppers um, throughout the year and some, try growing bush beans for a longer, longer period of time, maybe throughout the year. I don't know. I've never, never had that opportunity. So we go, ah, screw it. We'll put some bush beans. We started, we just couldn't stop ourselves is what I'm trying to say. But already some of these bush beans are like this tall. They got to get in the ground. So within the next few days, I'm going to build those planter boxes. And once things are in the planter boxes, 
then the fire will burn out there 24 hours a day. And if we just really, we jump the gun and plant it way too soon and lose a few things at the expense of a few bags of seeds, who cares? Because the enjoyment that we have gotten out of this greenhouse already has been very much needed. You know, we're going through some troubled times right now. Everyone is. It's a scary time. Some scary things going on out there with this virus. And, you know, I have my own health issues that I have to deal with. And I, I like I tried to have my cancer surgery moved up. And now Dartmouth isn't going to do any surgeries unless they are emergency surgeries. So even my cancer surgery has been like postponed till they are ready to do it. And, you know, we try not to go to town and quarantine ourselves as much as possible. So when you take a winter day, especially we just got eight inch, inches of snow when we were down to bare ground in most places, you get eight more inches of snow. So you come down here and you work out here in the sunshine with shorts and no shirt, with your fingers in the dirt and playing with seedlings and oh, it is a little utopia from everything that's going on in the world. Um, a total slice of heaven. So all the work that we have put into clearing the land, opening this up, building this structure, all the thought and planning, everything that went into it, we're already reaping the fruits of our labor. And before long, we're gonna be reaping the vegetables as well. <laughs> because I, within a month, it's gonna be a jungle out there. Yeah. So anyway, um, you asked for an update on the greenhouse. That is it. I am sweating here in the workshop, but there's no way I could sit out there right now and talk to you without having the door open. Yeah, this is incredible, folks. I'll give you another update real soon. So stay safe through these troubled times. All the best to you all, and God bless. Frankie and the boss out of walking in the woods, living life happy and free. Tracks in the snow everywhere they go, there's a pokey way up in that tree. A beaver built a pond where they have some fun, taking life a day at a time. Best friends until the end, Frankie and the boss, Frankie and the boss. Frankie and the Boss